impact of eight-week linoleic acid intake in soy oil on LPPLA2 activity in healthy adults. LPPLA2 is lipoprotein phospholipase A2, generally regarded as an indicator of endothelial inflammation, in quotation marks, endothelial damage, endothelial remodeling, an increase in plasma linoleic acid following intake of soybean oil, independently associated with LPPLA2 activity, which was also related to ApoB, OxLDL, and CEPICT, which is collagen epinephrine closure time, an indicator of endothelial function. So. Yet another study says that soybean oil, just given to people, not in processed foods, increases the um, CEPICT, which is a indicator of endothelial function, meaning it's getting worse. You're getting more oxidized LDL, and you're getting an increase in LPPLA2, which cannot possibly be a good thing. The effects of diets rich in monounsaturated fatty acids on plasma lipoproteins, the Jerusalem Nutrition Study, high MUFAs, monounsaturated fatty acids, versus high PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids. It's 26 uh, students randomly assigned to a 24-week crossover study. Again, all of the studies I have shown you are randomized, controlled study. There was a significantly higher tendency toward lipid peroxidation on the PUFA diet, whereas with the monounsaturated fat, the susceptibility of LDL to oxidative stress is lower. Let's recall the whole point of that little excursion. Experts say that seed oils, not in processed foods, are healthy. Blog and social media posts claim many vegetable oils, such as those from sunflower and canola, can promote inflammation that leads to heart disease and other ailments. Uh, yeah, I would say that oxidized LDL, LP little a, thiobarbituric acid or T-bar substances, CEPICT, all of those are in some ways inflammatory and promote heart disease. Finding sites on macrophages that mediate uptake and degradation of acetylated low-density lipoprotein, what does it say? It says that if you give a macrophage a native LDL molecule, this is a low-density lipoprotein molecule, which is a phospholipid monolayer that has proteins in the outside. So imagine a balloon with proteins stuck in the membrane. It's like a bus moving triglycerides and cholesterol around your body. If you give a macrophage that, the macrophage, which is an immune cell that resides below the endothelium inside of your blood vessels and is responsible for sort of the beginning histopathology of an endothelial lesion or a fatty streak leading to atherosclerosis, the macrophage will not take that LDL up. That LDL must be oxidized to be taken up by the macrophage. When you eat more linoleic acid, your LDL is much more likely to become oxidized. Do we think that could be an increased risk of cardiovascular disease? Is there any real cogent argument we could make by which that would not be an increased risk of cardiovascular disease? Plasma oxidized low-density protein, a strong predictor of acute coronary heart disease events in apparently healthy middle-aged men from the general population, oxidized LDL may represent a promising risk marker for clinical coronary heart disease complications should be evaluated in further studies. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.